This is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part 15 of the Space Marine Thunderfire Cannon tutorial. I'm just going to fix some mistakes I've made with this one. I can move it over. And I believe that um, these have been moved over as well, which will cause issues. Never mind, I'll just leave those there. Um, but what we're going to want to do is delete these things. Okay, I'll run the placement tool. Set the selected as the source, pick distribution one. You want the rivets. Um, Next, place them. Okay, never mind. Set. So these two things are the source. Then place them. Okay. Mix it out of that tool. Select all three of these and just scale them up. Okay, move them down and up, and then that one looks pretty good. And then just copy them over. This is just so it looks more complicated. Okay. Now we can continue working on this. So, um, we're gonna want to move that down. It should go into the. Oops. Go to the back view. Copy, copy, and copy. Alright. Um, then you're just going to want to move the vertices so that they line up with the edges. Okay. And lastly, uh, do it with these. perspective and select them all and move them in. Okay. Convert this to a Boolean. Start picking. And you should have some nice holes. Then convert it to an editable poly. And everything should be nice. Okay, it should select the edges for you already. Press chamfer. Ooh. Okay, and then give it a small chamfer so as not to show up any mistakes because it does strange things. Alright, looks pretty good. Um, next, we're going to want to select. this edge and move this back. Okay. Just like this, go in the left viewport and rotate it so that it sinks right in. You can turn angle snap off. Make sure to turn it back on. All right. 
actually let's uh, bring that out and just extrude this back in and next we want to build a cylinder right here in the bottom okay rotate it 90 degrees and move it up give it 12 sides and actually give it 16 sides um, convert to editable poly Okay, sign it a gray material. Select this edge here, inset, make it kind of small, extrude a little bit. Okay, hinge from edge, pick hinge, and just pick one of the bottom ones. edge loop chamfer All right give it a small chamfer and select these edges connect uh, and give it six okay and select that um, that that and that ring like those polygons. No, can't do it that way. So, it's like these two ring. It's like the polygons. Extrude. Or actually, sorry. Bevel. Local normal. Alright, bring it in. Bring it down. Okay. And then do the same with these two. Ring, polygons, bevel. Okay. And then select all those polygons and let's actually scale them oops in a bit. Okay, next select these three things. Loop chamfer, and then just flatten them out of it. Alright, looks pretty good. Next, we're going to want to set the top and bottom edges here. Connect twice. Uh, increase the pinch a bit. Okay, um, select both these, just move it over a bit to center it, alright, select this and extrude and extrude it just a bit, alright. Actually, okay. When we're selecting the edges, select that edge and that edge as well. Connect. Okay. Now we can do the extrude. All right. Extrude. That'll be it for part 15. I'll see you in part 16.